Hey guys, Funk Roberts here from over40alpha.com and today I am excited because I'm gonna bring you a 30 minute dumbbell punisher workout. That's right, today we are gonna work on pull exercises, push exercises, leg exercises that are gonna punish you. But first, I've got a surprise for you. I wanna hook you up with my Lean Pro 30 New Zealand Whey Protein Isolate absolutely free. That's right, this is all natural grass-fed protein. It's amazing protein powder because you can use it after your workouts, you can use it in smoothies to help you build muscle, help you recover, and make sure you get a source of protein with every meal. And this is a seven-day supply. All you have to do is cover shipping and you have to live in the US, but click the link. This is an amazing protein powder. On the next page, you'll see more about that. But for now, now, let's talk about this workout. So, like I said before, we are doing a pull, push, leg circuit. And so we have 10 pull exercises, followed by 10 push exercises, followed by 10 leg exercises. And we're gonna be doing each exercise for 45 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds rest, one after the other, with no rest in between. So 30 full minutes, no repeater, non-stop. Um, so I've got the timer. If you guys have, uh, make sure you've warmed up before. And hey, give, do me a favor, punch that like button, punch that subscribe button, and punch that notification button so that you don't miss another workout like this one right now. All right. I got some heavy dumbbells here because we want to go heavy. Like I said before, 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds rest. The first exercise is one arm dumbbell row and uh, you're going to be, uh, you, you, you can use a bench on that one, okay? So we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. So first exercise, dumbbell rows. So let that dumbbell hang and roll up by your hips. So I've got the 30s right now. It's the first exercise. Make sure your back's straight. And let that dumbbell hang at the bottom. Nice and slow, and you're pulling up to the hips. Hitting that lower back. This is one of those, like I said, you can go nice and heavy. Again, this is, this is like 30 pounds is light for me. But it is the first exercise. And we are doing it for 45 seconds. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Control that dumbbell. Good work. And so the next time I do this workout, I'll probably go heavier. Obviously, I will go heavier on that one. Guys, this is my workout today too, so welcome. We're doing this together. 15 seconds rest, now we switch arms. So now if you started with the right, you're gonna do the left and vice versa. So make sure you have that stable surface. Now, if you don't have anything, you can also just put your hand on your leg. But what this does, it gives us a little bit more stability to be able to lift a little heavier here because we want to build some muscle as we burn using this metabolic process, metabolic protocol, metabolic training protocol. Roll back by the hips, guys, not just straight up. Keep the elbows tight to the body. Good. And we're pulling up. Good work, keep going. Make sure that back is straight. Oh man, I felt that one. Okay, we're doing standing alternating bicep curls. So again, I'm gonna stick with the 30s here. And I like this workout too, because like I, as I mentioned before, if this is the second time you're doing it, you're gonna wanna go a little bit heavier, you know, at least start heavier. So alternating bicep curls. Bicep curls are a pull exercise. Keep your glutes, squeeze your glutes. That'll help make sure you got a nice tight pillar. Shoulders back. Elbows tight to the body. Yeah, good. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Good work. Shoulders back. Again, next time I do this workout, probably go heavier. Yeah, good work, okay. Next up, we've got upright rows, explosive rows. Upright rows, so we wanna keep our elbows down when we do this. We don't wanna do the upright row with our elbows up. It'll help hurt with the shoulders, so I'll probably jump to 20s here. Let me just grab these bad boys and start here. 
pull some up, upright rows. Good. Again, control on the way down. We want good reps. Good. Squeeze those glutes. Oh, and you're pulling up and back. Yeah. Oh, God. I gotta go down a little bit. There we go. Good. So the lighter you go, so you might go a little bit quicker. Good work. Man, that was tough. Okay, we're going into lying dumbbell pullovers. So I'm gonna start with 30s here. This is another one of those exercises you can do heavier. So we're not gonna get the full range of motion, obviously, because we're not on a bench, but we can still do, have that movement. All right, so we're down here. I like to pull, I like to pull all the way back. Let the dumbbell go back, feel that in your lats, and then pull straight up. All the way back, pull straight up. So again, 30s, probably go 40s or even 50s. So we're pulling up, letting it fall back, pull up. Now make sure that you control on the way down. Let's go a little bit heavier here. There we go. Let's grab these 40s. See if I can get a couple of reps with the 40s. E40s, oh yeah. There we go. Oof. Good. So the heavier you go, you go, the more you're gonna feel. Let's just do a couple more here, right? Because of that change, good work. Okay, what do we got here? We got standing crush curls. Man, I don't like these ones. It's like, so we're treating this one like it's a bar, barbell curls, right? So let's start off here. Again, core tight, crushing the dumbbell. Body tall, shoulders back. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Elbows tight to the body. Good. Let's go heavier. Let's go heavier. So people may be asking, Funk, what weight should I use? The first time you do this workout, you're gonna figure out. That's why it's important to track the weight to use. Oh. Oh, man. I had to go back down to 25s. Jeez. Good. All right. Just looking over at my board here. Bent over side lateral raises. So we go light here. Definitely want to go light here. We're in the rear delts, pulling up, right? Pulling up. So down. So I like. This exercise, my palms forward, well, I'm with my knuckles forward. Really hits the rear delts. Make sure that back's straight. I like to bend over a little bit with my knees bent. Protects that back, focuses on the shoulders. Focus on the rear delts, you can even turn them this way. But you see, try both ways. And I'll tell you, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it's a little bit harder, but I'm feeling it a little bit more when I do it like this. Yeah, 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 woo, yeah. Good work, wow, tough, okay. Dumbbell cleans, we're going into the cleans. I think I'll grab these 25s here. My dumbbell stacked all over the place. So now we've got a little bit of a hip hinge, but still pull exercise, right? So, Hold it here for a second. Drop. Hip hinge to clean. Good. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Keep the elbows tight. Here you have to go a little bit heavier. Or else your body will clean instead, or will curl. Good, a little bit of a hinge, hinge. Use that lower body to get that up. Oh man, Ooh. this is the one I hate the fact that I put this in. Alternating reverse grip rows. <laughs> Here we go. Alternating reverse grip rows, or even just alternating rows. Yeah, one. So 
row that close to the body, elbows tight. Eh. Eh. Rowing with a different grip. Yeah. Now, some people may be able to rotate the wrist a little bit better or a little bit more. That's fine. Eh. Eh. If you're losing your grip, you can just go regular alternating rows or you can keep pulling towards your belly button. Oh man. Last exercise, single side to side lateral raises. See if I can find the tens, no. All right, we'll go here. So now we're getting the side delts. Oh man, not even close to being finished yet. Here we go. One, oh that's too light. Two, that's nice and light. Let's go a little bit heavier, let's challenge ourselves. Let's challenge ourselves. Sha, good. Sha. So single really helps us focus on one at a time. Not use momentum. Ooh. Feel that shoulder raising, pulling up the dumbbell. Pulling up the dumbbell. There we go. Slight bend in your elbow. Whoa. Good. Shoulders back if you can. Not if you can. Shoulders back. Good work. Okay, now we move into our push exercises. First exercise, dumbbell floor press. I'm gonna start with the left because this is here. Deep through your nose, out to your mouth. All right, here we go. Let's push. I got the 50s. Again, elbows at a 45 degree angle. Doesn't matter where that other arm is. Good. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Good. You can even feel between your chest, that right left pec for me working. Keep going. Gee, will it curse. Okay, we're gonna move on to the other side. S safely roll the dumbbell to the other side. <sighs> Get some oxygen, and we're gonna come back up for the right side. Dumbbell, chest press, right side. <sighs> 45 seconds. <sighs> You're gonna find that one side may be weaker than the other, one side may be stronger, or maybe a little bit more. Weird doing it on one side because you're not used to using that side as much. This will uncover all of your imbalances, weaknesses. Whoa. Good, keep going. Remember, focus on pressing straight over your head so you can see it. Right side. Good. Good. Yeah. You definitely want to go heavy with those, okay? We don't want to skimp on that. We want to go heavy. Now we're going to go shoulder press. You can do push press here. You guys know my issues with the shoulders. But go heavy with this too. Okay, I can't, but you guys do. This is one of those. Do a little bit of a push press, a little bit of a squat, a dip. Pressing straight up, pushing straight up, elbows tight. Control. Good. Oh, man. Who would have thunk pressing 20s? Be difficult. But remember, we also pre exhausted the shoulders. If you went heavy with the chest press, these may be a little bit difficult because that pre-exhaust. So use that push, use that little dip to help you get it up. All right, let's try the left side. Good. 
You may be asking me, Funk, how many reps should I be doing? As many as you can. Good form. Elbow straight. Up. You can see more difficult on the left for me or on the right. Clean that up. Good. Yeah, oh, jeez. Let's go down a bit so I can finish off doing something. Ooh. Here I won't dip too much. Oh, I guess I should. All right, here we go. Skull crushers. Let's get back to the ground. Let me grab the 30s for these. We're going to triceps now. Skull crushers. The thing about metabolic workouts too is you gotta move quickly between exercises. Doesn't give you a lot, your muscles a lot of time to recover. Good. Keep those elbows pointed forward. Focus on the triceps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Good, so here again, I'm gonna drop her down. You're up. Push. There we go. Good. Ooh, I want to get that lactate flowing. All right. Dumbbell. Oh, we're going to stay right here. We're going to go to the 40s this time. I keep sliding around on my camera person. Oh, jeez. All right. I guess we'll just use the three. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm just going to grab these 30s for now. One and a half chest press. So you guys can just, again, go heavy here. So one, get to the bottom, half press. Half press. Oof. Half press. Good. Half. Oh. Oh, man. Oof. Oof. Triceps. Triceps. <laughs> the triceps are feeling this one. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. A little dip. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Oh, single dumbbell press, shoulder press. I don't know if I can get up. Oh man, how you guys doing out there? This is a nice workout. I can feel. You can feel. You can see the pump that I'm experiencing. So single shoulder press, straight up. Good. Oh, 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 jeez. Go down again. Keep that core tight, squeeze those glutes. Ooh, ooh, feel it, yeah. Oh, jeez, that was ugly. Those last two were ugly, very ugly. Okay, what do we got coming up here? Overhead tricep extensions. This one I definitely have to go light, but once again, by this time your shoulders are gonna be tapped, right? They're gonna be pretty fatigued, so. This one's gonna allow us to go a little bit. Keep those elbows straight as you can. Oh, man. Oh, squeeze the glutes. Oh, man. How are you guys doing? This is a killer. I like to bring it all the way down and stretch out the tricep. Rest when you need it. All right, here we go with our dumbbell chest fly. Dumbbell chest flies. I'm gonna just keep the 30s for now. Again, we're going with flies, but because we're on the floor and we have a little bit of safety, you can probably go a lot heavier than you would be able to if you're on a bench. Good. 
Exhale on the way up. Pretend you're hugging that tree. By this time, if you've been challenging yourself with good heavy weight, you're gonna feel this. You're definitely gonna feel this. Oh, you can even rotate at the top. Oh, oh, oh man. Press straight up. Oh. All right, here we go. Final press. We're gonna do peekaboo shoulder press. Again, I'm just gonna go light to show you this exercise, man. It's now reality's hitting in. The reality of this, this workout's uh, coming here. Right here, and then press. So peekaboo. So 90 degree angle, out. Oh, man, even that for me. There we go. So you're up. So we're moving those shoulders. You can even do this. Oh, can't even do that. It's frustrating. Nope. That's not happening, guys. We gotta go even lighter. <laughs> Just to take you through. Here, press straight up. Good, all right. Now we hit the legs. This is where the, this is where reality hits now. We're doing dumbbell, single static lunge on the right side, two dumbbells. So let's grab these 25ers, step back and static lunge. So for me, I'm moving, I have a little bit of a forward static lunge, right? Pushing back. So a little bit of a random range of motion. Body's tall, shoulders back, core tight. Now the punishment begins. Exhale on the way up. Keep going. Oh man. You know, it's funny. That exercise for a while was very tough for me. Very tough. It's slowly getting easier. Easier in the sense that I'm feeling more comfortable. The muscles that are engaged in that movement are getting stronger. So that movement isn't as uh, foreign to me anymore. I can, I can, the more you do these workouts, I tell you, it's incredible. The change in your posture, the change in your musculature, bone strength, movement. Oh, oh. The lactate. That's what we want. We want to hit that lactate threshold. Oh, push up. Oh, oh. Reality, baby. All right. Next up, squats. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, here we go. Just gonna do regular squats. Back. Legs are quite gassed here. Oh, what is he doing? He's rocking it. He's rocking it. Drive through the heels. Knees pointed out. Squeeze the glutes. Get it done. All right. Oh man. The effery doesn't stop. Curtsy lunge. All right. Curtsy lunge right. Step back lunge. Step back lunge. 
I'm gonna throw a little, let's do two more of these, and then we're gonna do a side lunge, ready? Step back lunge, to side lunge. Step back lunge, to side lunge, okay? Curtsy, to side. Push up with that other leg. Curtsy, to side, yeah. Curtsy, woo! Push off. If you're having difficulty, just do this, okay? So curtsy lunge, step back lunge, to side. Side laugh. So side lunges. I can't speak. Oh, how are you guys doing, man? Show me some love if you're just watching this. You're just, did I go this way last time? I certainly did. Let's go the other way. Let's do four regular curtsy lunges, body tall, pushing off with that front leg. And you're gonna see now front leg push off, left leg, right leg push off. Left leg push off, right leg. When I say push off, you are pushing off with that right leg at the back, but the stability has to be in this leg here. Side, good. Oh, let me focus again. Up, push off, up. Good work, man, all right. And just when you thought it was safe, we're gonna do single leg deadlifts. Right, and then left. Oh. All right, balance, down. Let those dumbbells go straight down. Slight bend in that knee. Core tight. Good. I like to start light with these and the subsequent workouts, I'll go a little bit heavier. Because the heavier you go, the more you're gonna feel that in your hamstring. Ooh. Good. Try to keep that back straight. Good work. Listen, if you're falling all over the place, then don't use dumbbells. Just get that movement first. We're almost there, guys. I appreciate you being here with me. Again, this workout, if it's the second, third, or fourth time you're doing it, because you are in my program, then go heavier. Again, one side's gonna be better than other. So let me just focus here. Focus, stability, good. Talk to yourself, coach yourself, knees slightly bent, come down, pull straight back up. Yeah, feel that in my hammy, my right hammy. Good, back, pull up, nice, okay. Goblet close squats. Oh man, you see, this is a workout you would do in between two other workouts. You do this on your Wednesday workout. Jesus. Or maybe at the end of the week. I said close squat, didn't I? We got the 50s. Back, not forward. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Ah, ah. Dumbbell swings. Oh, man. Oxygen. Hit 
Hip hinge. Just a slight hip hinge. Use the hips, lower body, glutes. Explode. That's hard. I'm feeling that on my back, so I gotta, gotta go a little lighter. Gotta save my back for my next workout. <laughs> okay. Last exercise. You guys are awesome. Calf raises. Calf raises. You can go a little bit heavier here. And uh, just try to get as many reps as possible. You can pulse. Double one, two, one, two. Keep your shoulders back. Don't lift the dumbbells, just hang on to them. Let them fall. The heavier the weight you have, the better it is, because you're really gonna feel it. And those calves, oh, wow. We're done. Oh man. I am dying right now. Hope you are. This is a punishing workout. We focused on pull exercises. Then we moved to push or press exercises. Then we went to the legs. And now we are done. So like I said before, seven day lean pro. This is the perfect time after your workout to have some protein, right? Just a water, protein powder. That starts the process of your recovery. Do some abs. Stretch, shower up, and then get something to eat. So don't forget, if you live in the US, click the link anywhere on this page, you're gonna get my seven day supply of Lean Pro 30 grass fed protein, absolutely free. You just cover shipping and handling. Thank you so much, guys. Please make sure you punch the like button, punch the subscribe button, punch the notifications, and punch your way to bigger biceps, leaner abs, and an awesome day. I'm the Funkster, get it done. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it. And I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that, those comments. And if you like that workout, click that button right there and I'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.